Good grief. We've got four kids that find more dirt than you can imagine. Dirty socks, grass stains. So I bought some Liquid Tide. Hey, thank you. Now, instead of buying new socks, I buy more Liquid Tide. Sincerely, Mrs. Kathleen McGinnis. Can your liquid get out tough dirt and grass stains? Liquid Tide did. You'll be surprised how many things Liquid Tide gets out. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Listerine kills germs. It hits plaque above the gum line. Listerine battles the gum disease, gingivitis, in big fight tonight. It's a right. And another right. Listerine really rocked him. It's over. The winner. Listerine antiseptic. It says what it does. It does what it says. Next, a mission in China to rescue a student marked for death. I'm gonna take that kid out of here tonight. On Undercover. Then, lovers play a lethal hand. Put it down! Twin Peaks, tonight. Next on The Young Riders. Peter Riley is as tough as they come, and if he sent this bullet, we got us a fight in our hands. We want them to go, we don't want them here. We can fight our own battles. Every time I killed a man, Peace and me went into the grave with him. Slavery is worse than death, and freedom's worth dying for. Looks like there's a tongue cut among us. Here they come! We got a few surprises for them. Submitted for your approval, pet owners who've entered the silly zone, separated at birth, or victims of America's funniest home videos. Then, meet twisted individuals who'll do anything for a laugh on America's Funniest People Sunday. Get ready for the Ford Truck Leadership Sell-Down. 7,000 trucks. 7,000 trucks! 17 days. 17 days? The best selection ever of F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, 4x4s, and super cabs. 7,000 trucks. 17 days. It's the Northwest Ford Dealers Truck Leadership Sell-Down. Great selection, great prices at your Northwest Ford Dealer today. Hi, I'm Brian Dorflinger. And I'm Carrie Tomlinson. Coming up tonight at 11 on the Weekend Report, British troops wrap up training in central Washington. We'll take you out on the battlefield for an inside look at the fighting. Also, peace or war? A Sunnyside family tells us how their high hopes were dashed by Saddam Hussein. Brian? Here in sports, we'll talk to Jay Buhner about the upcoming Mariner season and in high school sports wrestling from the Tacoma Dome and high school hoops from Sela and Wapato. We'll see you at 11 o'clock. From ABC News, this is a Gulf War update. I'm Jack Smith in Washington. The Pentagon says Iraq has been faking civilian damage blamed on Allied bomb attacks, such as a mosque, which the U.S. says the Iraqis blew up themselves. We saw them earlier in the process um, inflict some damage uh, on a specific building and, and then allow media access when we are absolutely certain that that damage was not inflicted by coalition forces. British forces are investigating Iraqi charges that 130 civilians were killed when British jets bombed the town of Fallujah. And tomorrow on This Week with David Brinkley, Defense Secretary Dick Cheney. This has been a Gulf War update.